I'm Mike Quist, this is Epoxy Live. Do you wanna learn how to build shower walls on a budget from epoxy that look like stone? This is it, this is a masterclass. I, I, I'm looking at this piece we just poured and I'm like, we gotta go live and show the real time on this and exactly how easy it is. Look at the detail. Look at the rivers that we've poured. Look at the contrast, because this is budding into a piece we poured out there. I'm gonna show you all these pieces. And, and this is dark, this is light. We have our color palette. And I wanted to show how fast this is. You know, we do a lot of, lot of tutorials. This is going to be one of my favorite ones. Welcome to Stone Coat Live. Check it out, this is what we started with. This is foam, guys. We're making shower walls from foam. And if you've ever worked with natural stone like, like we have, you know the lightweight, easy transport is key. Follow me, check this out. Look at how this one's coming out. So this is a giant back wall of a shower. And look at the organic flow of this thing. We have the edges taped up. This is still wet. Look, come here. See that? That is still flowing. So we have the edges taped. We're gonna come back in about four hours and peel that tape and let it flow right over. We pre-templated everything. If you guys haven't subscribed to Stone Coat Countertops, we do countertops, tabletops, desktops, showers, floors, mantles, trees, goo, and galore. Check it out right here. We made a mold, because this is what we're gonna make our backsplash out of. This is natural stone. I wanna teach you how to make backsplash on a budget. So we made a mold of this entire thing. We made cap tiles for, for, for tiles on backsplash. This is where all the expense is. It's not the field tiles. These are really expensive to buy. Uh, check out these tiles right here. Look at this design. Can you picture this translucent maybe as an inset that LED light comes through? Follow me, brother. Guys, let me know, where are you tuning in from? We're in Oregon, where are you at? I wanna know, and you know, a lot of you've been asking us to go live again. Mitch, he's on your comments. What's up? He's gonna be answering every question you have, so let those comments fly. Look at the mold that we made. So cool. This is coming up in our channel, so if you haven't subscribed, ring that bell to get notified when we drop this. We're gonna do a backsplash I'm considering doing some LED that comes through it. We've done giant islands. We've, we've been pouring all day today. This is our mixing station right here. We are in the shop and this video is going to be fun. So let's get started. Ask those questions. Mitch is gonna fire away. I'm gonna mix. Here's the color, color palette I'm working with. I got white metallic. I got diamond dust. I got black metallic. I got white and black dyes and I got Cobalt blue spray paint, rustic orange, white and black, and a little bit of bronze, okay? That's my color palette. I'm gonna put it in this bucket. I'm gonna show you how I pour this out. I've been pouring on this project, oh goodness. How long we've we been working on this project? Just, just about, about two weeks we've been doing nothing but epoxy pour after pour after pour. The countertops, we're working the showers, we did a really cool stamp on a real rock. We made a natural stone shower pan out of uh, concrete. And then we did the ultimate top coat over that. We did our marble spray. Got logs we're dressing up with epoxy. So much more, like we're turning this project. It's a, this is a multi-million dollar dream home on the river that we're turning into a vacation rental using DIY methods. These methods up leveled this house. It didn't diminish the value. No. It made it look like it's fire, man. It's, it's sick. It's up leveled. Plus, it's been so much fun working on these projects. Oh, more fun than I've ever had in construction. All right, I'm using, uh, guys, Nathan's right here. Nathan's filming too. Um, we're making an evergreen video on this. So if you want training on epoxy, you're in the right place. Okay, we've been doing this. Our, our entire adult career, and we're sharing the tips, tools, and techniques to take your epoxy game to the next level, to make it uh, take the guesswork out of the curve. Our experience will translate to your projects if you follow along step by step. Our, our, our website teaches you everything you need to know, and most of all, the number one rule is have fun. Okay, when you're doing epoxy, 
have a good time. You, you notice a difference in your pieces when you're enjoying your day, when you're you know free and loose, when you're picking a palette and don't overthink it. And so that's what I really wanna show you in this class is pick a palette that goes with your decor. You know, we've already poured the countertops. We've applied the ultimate top coat to those countertops. We did an LED underlight through, you know, this crazy tear. Has anybody seen that on our Facebook group where we actually showed the progress of that thing? And we're doing a, 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 a video on that too. We're also uh, have a big goal as a creation team. We are almost to 1 million subscribers on YouTube. We're super proud of that. It's been um, years in the making. We've put out how many videos? Close to 500 videos. Close to 500. We never took one down. You could go back and, and go to our first videos and you'll see where we've come. We, we, we aren't video guys, we're contractors. And we learn that the more information we give away for free, the more people support our business and buy our products. And we take our products really seriously. This, this epoxy is heat resistant, scratch resistant, it's UV resistant. It's designed for showers and floors and, and countertops. It's designed for use and abuse in your house. We've, we've perfected the technique to make showers on a budget. I mean, I know I sound like a salesperson, but I'm selling you the truth. I'm doing this in my own house and I would, I would actually prefer this over natural stone, and, and I've worked with granite for years. The install alone is gonna save you your back and your heartache. I wanna do a video on uh, like a Guinness Book of World Record fastest, fastest install of a shower of all time. Go head to head with somebody. Yeah, yeah, I, I dare you to beat me in speed of how fast this thing will go. All right. Speaking of shower walls, we have tons of questions on what is this upgrade? What kind of foam? Where oh, get it? oh yeah, foam. Here you go. Uh, do we have a? We don't have any more full sheets I handy. Like a, a three Here you go. Good question. What kind of foam are we using? Owens Corn Corning Pink Insulation Foam. Does that feel good, Luke? It does. All right, that's what we're using to put in our shower walls. Why did I go with foam and not MDF like I've used in the past? MDF, I get a lot of comments. Oh, your shower is going to get destroyed. You're using MDF in a wet area. Not if you use uh, a waterproof membrane and then you encapsulate that. Epoxy is about the most waterproof thing you could apply. And then you, you, you treat the back. But let's say you don't want to use MDF, which I, I agree. I understand. But I've done a lot of showers in it that are still in use today that look fantastic. But foam... Foam is waterproof. Can't, you can't say nothing bad about foam other than, wait a second, it's, it's going to dent. It's weak. It's, it's, it, you'll, you'll push your finger into it. And it it'll, well, the way that we've done this here is we sell these kits, and they have fiberglass right here. We do a fiberglass mesh uh, with a quick coat to seal this foam and make it really sturdy where we do our, our hinges, where the shower we're doing three eighths thick or half inch thick heavy duty doors on this thing. Just like I did. Did you see the video of the house we did for my mom and dad? We did the same technique, but right here, we've embedded a composite that we attach our, our uh, hinges to. So the hinges won't compress. And then we have a hardwood up front, uh, a board that will not compress. Um, we've perfected this. So subscribe and we'll be dropping the video on how we build this. Today we're gonna pour, but if you wanna learn, check it out, look how heavy this is. That's, here, look underneath, Luke. That's, that's the foam we use. See how Mitch has got it all set up on scraps so, so it supports it? Nice. And then um, we've got it taped off here, and the reason we got it taped is so that it captures all the epoxy. We're doing one coat, one single color coat. Okay, and then we're gonna uh, top coat that with our ultimate top coat to give it a natural look. Um, and the walls look perfect when you do that. So uh, I've already poured the epoxy. Keep those questions coming. How much, how much is the epoxy per gallon, Mike? Uh, per gallon is about 90 bucks. Um, so again, I've been a contractor my whole life. To do a shower, you're looking at a shower of this magnitude, because this is a large shower that we're doing. 
you'll see you'll see the install. Uh, when I'm all said and done, I would charge four, five, six k all day long for for a shower. If it's a natural stone, I mean, you're looking at ten grand or more. I mean, you let me know in the comments. Am I lying? Is is, is a solid granite slab shower gonna be cheap? No. And this is what it's gonna look like. I even did an organic rock edge that kind of follows the mountain theme because this is a giant log home. And so you can get so unique with it and so um, beautiful on that pour, it looks like stone walls. So you're saving over 10 times your money because this is gonna cost about 600 bucks in material to build, okay? and. As a contractor, Mitch, 6K all day long for a shower like this, okay? And, and that's conservative. And, and you know what's happening right now in our country? We have a shortage of tradesmen, okay? You're not gonna find a guy to come do your shower anytime soon. And if they're available, I would be very careful because anybody who knows how to do construction is really, really busy right now. So do it yourself. Follow this master class. Do your own shower walls. Real quick, I want to give a shout out to, there's a lot of people tuning in from all over the world. Really? Italy, Argentina, Asia. Russia, Malaysia, Brazil. What? A lot of people. Welcome, everybody. Did you guys know that Stone Coat has expanded? We're in Canada, Mexico. We're going to the UK. We have distributors popping up all over the world. Our videos are getting seen in places we've ne we don't even know how to spell. Comments of the day. Yeah. Right I'm 62. I just finished my countertops. Wait, come over here so they can hear you. I'm 62. I just finished my countertops, and people can't believe I did it myself. You got this! Who said that? Sandra Benson. Sandra you Benson. Sandra Benson. Email Mitch at what? Mitch. Sandra, send us pictures of what you did. S send a little cell phone clip that says, I did this. And what we're going to do is we're going to match what you bought so you can do your next project. Okay? Woo! Sandra, getting free material. We're going crazy on this live. We're having, oh, it's already fun. And I'm just mixing. Guys, did you like the pieces that you saw in the hook? Go show them that again while I finish mixing this, man. Look at that. Look at what you're getting right there. How's it laying out, Luke? Luke gave me the thumbs up. It looks fantastic on the YouTube here. Have I mixed for two minutes yet? Yeah. All right, Luke, let's show, them the, let's show them how difficult the... So what I just did with that paddle mixer, that is sincerely the most difficult part of my day today, is mixing that. Everything else is downhill from here. So all I'm doing... Is just reusing buckets that I've already used. I'm making a light version and a dark version. I'm gonna take some white metallic. That one's almost gone. In the grain, Creations just did a demo at, at uh, Woodcraft and everyone loved it. Really? Stone Coat demo. Oh, yeah. At which Woodcraft? Which Woodcraft? We were out in Connecticut at. Uh, which one? Hartford, Is that which one he did? I don't know. Yeah, yeah let us know where, where you did that because we're really good friends with the people out in Connecticut. They have a number of wood crafts. Oh, nice. Very cool. So you did a, a demo out there. I want to see what you did. Send us some photos, man. All right. Uh, white metallic. Where's the black dye? Right, right there. Black dye. I'm going to go. Let me pour some of this clear. We have the most UV resistant products on planet Earth for epoxy. We also have developed a product called Platinum. We're re-releasing Platinum because uh, we're, we're going outside. I'm doing an outdoor balcony. We've perfected a primer and the primer is key when using our Platinum. Adhesion is key. So when you get higher and higher UV resistance, we were losing adhesion. We've solved that. Platinum's coming back. You can go outside with zero yellowing. The only company on planet Earth to provide you that promise, and we're gonna do it. So uh, you're in the right place if, if you're a DIYer. 
you're in the right place if you're a contractor. If you're an entrepreneur, um, Stone Coat ain't slowing down, man. Where, they can, where can they find our epoxy, Mike? StoneCoatCountertops.com. I am on my second energy drink of the day. I quit doing energy drinks. I came back to Oregon to do this project. And goodness, man, I am back on the saddle because we've been working some crazy long days, right? Yeah, but fun days. So I got metallic powder. I got black dye. I got white metallic. Let's go white dye. There it goes. Okay, cobalt blue spray paint right there. This is a cool question. Can I put epoxy on my acoustic piano I have? Like the body of your piano? Sure. I wouldn't do your keys. Sand it. It, uh, yeah, sand it, but it could if it's an acoustic, like an acoustic. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna get a different sound. You know, I've been playing I've been playing a Hawaiian drum. I'm really good at it too, just Right? Isn't that good? That was fabulous. It was so good. So, um, the, the sound will, will, will be affected by how thick you pour that. So if it's something that's like really, really important to you, you got to test it somehow. Um, I'm going to answer one. Uh, Mr. D Blackwood asks, is an epoxy floor easy to remove? You don't need to remove it. You can always pour over much easier. Yeah, we're about to do a 4,000 square foot epoxy floor. We have developed a new top coat that's slower drying so you can apply it over a floor. Um, it is going to be epic. We're going to show you how to wrap it like marble. We're going to marble wrap our floor. We're the real original marble wrappers. We like to wrap and marble wrap, and we're going to teach you how to do it uh, for real. We're not going to charge you either. It's a free class. We're going to go live and do a... Uh, have you seen the spike shoes that we wear? It could be disastrous. We might fall in the epoxy. I think it'd be like a NASCAR race. You're just going to wait for us to wreck. All right, there's the white. There's the black mixed with diamond dust. Okay, let's mix these up. We've been having a lot of fun, man. It's... It's been cool. We, we built the cabinets from scratch. Uh, we've done this. We've done all the bathrooms. We did a, a sauna. We're doing a hidden TV behind a mirror. Um, we're doing uh, real trees. I cut down one of the biggest trees of my life uh, because it was standing dead. And we're using that for wall cladding inside. We're going to make it look like chinking in between. We're making molds of these acoustic panels that look like waves. Um, we're doing a, a mantle that's half epoxy, half wood hybrid. We're putting a tree in the house that is an actual tree that, that needed to come down. Um, we got so many projects coming that nobody else has showed you. And it's, it's coming fast. So don't miss it. All right, I got this much left. What color? Should I go lighter? Is this, is this the lighter part of the shower or the darker part? This is great question. I think this is the lighter part. I think it's the lighter part. It's the lighter part. All right, we're going to go lighter then. There's more metallic powder. Let me add a little bit of white dye in there. So there's a lighter part and a dark part. You want to explain that, Mike? Yeah, you know, we got our back panel. We do first. We do half of it light, half of it dark. And then your return panels that come out, it's a three wall shower. We do this one light, this one dark to match that. So it really customizes that shower. It's a pro tip. Ding, it's how you get uh, your shower to go from good to great. It looks like you planned it um, because you did. So that's why I asked. Yeah, any spray paint will work, but we like Rust-Oleum, gloss, spray paint. And when I mint, like, look at this cobalt blue. Look at that. Yes. Look at this rustic orange mixed with a little bit of white. You're welcome in advance. Look at this bronze. Now you know why I like Rust-Oleum. These are my favorite colors. This is going in, in my personal house that my wife and I bought as a uh, 
dilapidated foreclosure that was being um, inhabited by more than just human beings, okay? This was a crazy situation that took us a year to get back in working order. We've put our blood, sweat, and tears in this thing. We practice what we preach, we drink our own Kool-Aid, and we DIY our way to a dream home. And that's what I hope you guys do with this information. I am your professor, this is the Epoxy Masterclass, and we're about to pour a foam panel. If you're just tuning in, we're Stone Coat Countertops. If you haven't subscribed, I'll wait. Go do that right now. Subscribe, ring the bell, help us to get to a million subscribers. Get the thumbs up. Okay, you ready? ready? Here we go. Let's do it. This is how you make an exotic bucket right here. Oh. Nice. Little bit of black in there. Little bit of black metallic. Who here has done an exotic pour before? How good did it turn out? Luke is behind the camera. Mitch is at your comments. Nathan is recording for future video. We are in our own garage doing this all the way from Oregon. And we hope you're enjoying this because we are. Wow, man, oh man, look at that bucket. Look at that. You know, I've been getting a lot of private messages lately. When are you gonna go live again? We've been so busy, it's like, I don't know. All right, and I'm, I'm watching this, this come to life today, and I'm going, golly, we got a show. I mean, how long we've been live right now, Luke? 22 minutes and 10 seconds. I've been talking most of that time, blabbing your ear off, but this is fast. So 20 minutes, I'm ready to pour this panel. Times that by three panels, that's not that much time to pour your panels. Kenneth Bent says his exotic pour was awesome. Nice. Nice, I wanna see it, Kenneth. How's that edge doing, Mitch? Really good, I had a small leak I didn't tap. All right, here we go. We're gonna pour this. Oh, look, I got a little, little parasite hanging on. You ready? Ready. Kevin's asking if we're gonna release the video on how we prep these panels. Okay. Only if he subscribes. And crush the like button. You ready, Luke? Ready. Ooh, nice. And if you have the brain power while pouring, why would we use foam instead of MDF in the shower? Uh, Cause of wet areas, it's lightweight, it's easy to fabricate. We actually fabricated this before we even left the job site. Look at that. Yes. All right. Let's go mix a little bit more. Keep those questions coming. Look, look at what it's doing. That's why you mix those colors in the bucket like that. Look at... Look at what it automatically does for me. That requires no artistic skill. Zero artistic skill. And that's what you're gonna get. I'll frame this. See, it's got white coming out now. I'm gonna just frame this part with white. I really like to mix the two and contrast it a lot. I'm gonna come around there where you are, Luke. Just give it a border. See this little cut out there? That's uh, that's for our faucet. I mean, our, our controls. Luke, that's the sheet of foam we're using. It's one inch thick. That's foam you can pick up at the giant box hardware stores. I answer that one for you, Mike. Thanks, buddy. How long have you guys been subscribed to our channel? I want to know who's tuning in. Are you new here? 
Have you been with us since the beginning? Have you seen the elevation? Stone Coat Countertops has, has, has started the DIY revolution with epoxy. This, uh, this is an absolute game changer for your own projects. Look at how that's flowing out. Looks like we're, we're tilting this way a little bit, Mitch. Which way? Well, I got a No, it's actually pretty even. Look at that. We have several subscribers that have been with us for years. A couple are brand new. Welcome. Welcome. Hey, hey. I'm just tilting this panel to see how far I can get this to spread out. I think, does this edge need to be the lighter side too? Um, yeah, we can do that. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, I would see how that it's not really going under here. Mm -hmm. I'd go under like with the whole piece. See what I mean? Yeah. I think that's our culprit. So when you guys tape off your edges, go all the way under with the full piece or else you'll get a leak. And if you don't get any leaks and you peel this late, late in your pour, your edges will just be so s slow to, to, to run over. You get glassed out thick, thick edges. It's really cool. We're doing a top coat over this, correct? Yeah, we're gonna do the ultimate top coat. I, I, I don't think I'll ever do a job again without that product it's it's like my favorite thing it makes our makes our epoxy look like natural stone more than i've ever been able to accomplish it takes away the high high shine makes it look like natural stone it's incredible and the durability uh it's uh, i have kids that have absolutely um an unpredictable amount of behavior that destroys everything and they don't destroy my projects anymore because of that, that product. So highly recommend it. All right, Luke, I gotta get, uh, I'm gonna get some more bottles. Let's go get some more. Video games is in our chat. They have 3.4 million subscribers. Yeah, welcome, bro. Thank you. All right, I got more epoxy. I happen to own an epoxy store. You ever used a uh, tongue depressor as a razor knife? Ah! Ooh, that's tough. That's ready to ship. Guys, we are in stock, ready to ship. Beware of where you get your products. A lot of epoxy comes from China, not stone coat. We have, check this out right here. This is very important to us. Okay, we have products. We have a factory in Pennsylvania and Michigan, in Oregon and California. We employ a massive amount of folks that are hardworking. Uh, we have customer service. We have uh, a lot of pride in, in our company. So if you like what you see here, uh, go support us, go, go do a project. Start with uh, something that you buy from the Goodwill or, or something like that and, and, and do a tabletop and see what it looks like. Prove me wrong. Show me this isn't the easiest thing you've ever done. There you go. There's that. We still gotta do uh, that little piece out there. 
We got another little piece for the threshold that we got to pour. So we'll see if this is enough. Guys, you want us to keep going? Do you want to see us pour the other piece out there? Let me know. Or do you, would you rather see it on an edited video? What do you guys like better? The edited videos that are shorter with less blabbing? Or do you like the, uh, the full live videos? We've turned off the air conditioning in here, so it's a brisk 80 degrees. What is it in here, Mitch? 82. 82. I was close. So it's hot. It's going to dry beautifully. Everyone says they love the lives. I'm going to mix for about two minutes. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. Our viscosity is uh, chosen because all of our product isn't going to level right off your piece. It's thick enough to dome as an epoxy, but it's thin enough to mix and work with. We have an unmatched working time. Okay, We're doing one coat, and we're able to work this for two hours. Okay, It doesn't set off and fire off and start to smoke. It will actually gradually get ready for tomorrow to be ready to top coat. We'll be able to install these that next day. So after you top coat, you wait one day and you could use your countertops, your tables, your shower. It has increased the curing time because of our top coat to be able to use your project. Um, we've listened to our customers, our comments. We've developed the world's best products because they're made right here in this great country. And we don't have to wait for it to ship from overseas. Okay, We move fast. We listen to what you want and we try to develop it. So if there's a product, a process, something you want to learn, let us know what that is because we read each and every comment. And if you go look at our YouTube comments, we answer you. Okay, we're highly engaged. We know that if we please you, we win. Okay, Stone Coat has been one of the fastest growing epoxy companies on planet Earth because of those principles. So we thank you for that and we know that's because of our customer support thank you thank you for watching our videos thank you for commenting that helps our videos get higher in the queue also if you go share this video with your friends and say look at what this crazy guy just made he just made a shower wall that would cost a couple grand and he did it on a live video while he talked his face off and it came out pretty decent so go sh go share this on social media for us Everyone is enjoying the live. They miss lives. You know what? Um, I miss them too. My brother and I, my family, we've been through a pretty hard time. It's been, uh, you know, we lost my father. My father uh, passed away in November and uh, hasn't been the same. He, he, he was uh, one of the OGs of Stone Coat and he was our mentor, our uh, our our best friend, and uh, haven't had a lot of desire. Anybody relate with me there? It's If you don't have the desire to create and do something, you just don't don't want to. And, and so we're, we're getting our mojo back, and I know my dad's happy about that. So here we are. We're live. And Dad, if you're watching, thanks. Thank you. I love you. All right. Uh, I'll show you a picture, my favorite picture. Check this out. My mom took this right here. Uh, this is my little five-year-old right here. His name's Bubba. And, and that's me in the water. And, and he likes to balance on my head. And my mom uh, said that's an anchor. And that's what my dad taught me is to be an anchor to the family. And that's what he is. And, and that's what I miss is, is my anchor. Okay, I got the bronze. I got that. I got to get a little orange in there. Uh, put a little more black in there. Got to get a lot of white powder. Hey, Mike, you want to try to, it's kind of complicated, but how would you do a waterfall edge on a kitchen countertop? Uh, I, I'd pour it in one piece. I'd miter it. At, the question is, how do you do a waterfall edge? I'd pour it in one piece. I'd, I'd miter, miter, biscuit, glue, mock it up, let it dry, install it. Don't try to pour it like that. It'll never look the same. It's that simple, right? Bingo. 
simple to say, not simple to build. If you haven't built anything, don't start with a, uh, a waterfall edge. Okay, Mitch, you want to come... Uh, well, I was talking. I don't even know if I put the black dye in. Here we go. Black dye. Now it's in. Guaranteed. Might be double the dose. Oh, yeah. It's black. Okay, here's the white. Okay, mix up these spray paints. Just using little tongue depressors. What's your guys' favorite thing to create? What's your, what's your medium? How many of you have used epoxy before? I want to know. So I'm putting everything except for the black in there. Okay, and I'll show you why. I'll show you what I'm gonna do here. See all these cups that still have something in it? This is where you come back and you combine all these cups to give you what I call a touch-up cup, where you could come in and I have a miniature uh, exotic pour in a cup that you could come in and fill in any of the low spots. Put just a little bit of black in there. Look at that cup already. Look at, how does that not turn out good? All right, so. I got a good question for you, Mike. Yeah. What causes epoxy to make divots during the leveling and curing process? Oh, if you got divots, it's because you got air movement or you got dust falling into the epoxy. We're in a wood shop, so there's dust. But just turn off the fans. Stop the air movement. Shut the windows, and your divots will go away. Also, if you don't pop the bubbles with the heat gun, a torch, or a blow dryer, uh, those bubbles will pop. And if it's late in the pour, it creates a divot that doesn't level out. So torch your air, just like we show in all the videos, and you'll be, you'll be good to go. Okay, Luke, ready? Ready. There's that piece right there. You said the front needed, yeah, no, that's needed to be... Man, that's neat. Okay, I'm gonna come right through here. Okay, I'm gonna pour right here. Nice, nice, wow. I, I think I'm gonna pour a vein. Guys, let me know. Would you pour a vein down this dark spot? By the handle? Nah, yeah, I mean, I guess. I think I'm gonna kind of cheat this way. And and Luke, I'm gonna why don't you get down here and I'm gonna move fast because I don't want I want it to I wanna go fast. He said yes, 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 yes. R ready? Nice. I wanna take this and not be a giant blob there. Here we go. And this is gonna push everything else out. Now see where it's bulbous right here? I'm gonna come here and just finish it over that edge so it's not bulbous. Okay, now we got the little piece out there. Let's go do the little piece. What do you guys think of that vein? Was that the right? Right choice? Oh, <laughs> that's sick. All right, I'll be ready for this little one, Luke. Guys, stay tuned. We're going to give some more epoxy away. Woo! I'm going to pick some people to give some epoxy to, only with a promise attached to it. You want to head over to the other side, and I'll, I'll pour this. Okay, here comes the black first, okay? Do a black wash coat on this. Okay, I'm just going to use my hands, sorry, I'm going to move that around. And what will happen is, as you put this lighter 
uh, color over a, a wash coat like this, it'll push the wash coat. I'm gonna do veins with that lighter color and it'll push the wash coat between the veins and give you these really distinctive veins. It's, it's such a good way to, if, especially if you're a rookie, and you've never done this before, it, it gives you guarantee that you cover the whole piece because it breaks all the surface tension and it, it makes your veins look very natural. ATD in the house. Oh, guys, have you seen Artists Till Death? They're a YouTube channel that's world renowned for using epoxy and resin and airbrushing and doing art, everything that you can imagine using this medium and testing things. They're, uh, they also supply our product to many artists worldwide. So support Artists Till Death. Go to their channel and, and see what they create. And if you'd be so kind to subscribe, we'd appreciate that. All right, here, you ready? We got the wash coat, and here comes the veins. There you go. If that's not the prettiest threshold ever i don't know what is look at that that is sick see these little dippy drops just touch those touch that touch these right here okay we'll we'll come torch this let's go watch mitch torch and see why he's doing that ATD's currently at RK3. RK3 says oh, Rhonda Draculis, RK3 Designs. She does a YouTube channel as well. Um, these are all people that we've collaborated with for years, and we all love this medium, and we love one another. So go check out RK3 and see what she creates as well. Thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate that. This is the Epoxy Masterclass. This is a free masterclass teaching you how to build shower walls like a pro. Now you know, I hope you've enjoyed the video so far. We're gonna give away some epoxy, stay tuned. Start commenting, because we are gonna pick somebody in the comments Woo. noteworthy of some free epoxy, so. Many folks have asked how we prepped these panels previously to us pouring this exotic pour. It's really easy, we sell a kit on the website with everything needed except for your foam panels. And all we did is trowel out a coat of our normal stone coat epoxy and then apply this fiberglass backing. That strengthens up the foam to take any slip fall impacts. You won't harm your shower walls. We let that dry, lightly sanded with 220, and here we are pouring. Oh, I like that vein right there. there you go, Mike. I'm going over here. I'm gonna put a vein on this too. Ready? Ready. Can you use epoxy around a fireplace? Mitch is screaming, so the mic picks it up. <laughs> he asked, can you use epoxy on a fireplace? We're about to do one, and I'll show you. Just keep that epoxy away from the flame, but this is very heat resistant. You could set hot pans on our product. So, yeah, look at that. Look at that vein. I'm going to go do one on that back wall. What about epoxy on the interior of a van? Hashtag van life. Hashtag van life, yes. People do airplanes, RVs, boats. We did a yacht in Florida, Wall lightweight, Wall waterproof. It's a good solution. You know, airplanes have looked into the uh, flame retardant capabilities of our product and gotten it approved to do private planes, um, all kinds of different stuff. Yes. Look at that white vein. That is sick. Let's go do this back wall. I got some. Yeah, you could use half inch foam. You could use quarter inch foam. You could do this over masonite like we have on the floor. You can do this over anything that epoxy sticks to, which is about everything. <laughs> okay, ready, Luke? Ready. What well, do you guys agree with this? This don't do it over uh, three mil plastic. No, it won't stick to three mil plastic. Ooh, your vertical looks wonderful. Look at that. Look at that. We poured this we poured this panel about 2 hours ago, so that will stay put probably a lot. That's money right there. Do you like it? Guys, do you it. like that vein? 
Look at this piece. Look at it evolving. See what I mean by those dark veins? Just giving you that realism. Look at this. Look at the sediment style. Yes. We had a couple people in the live chat saying they've had, they bought the product. They're still too nervous to start. What do you say to them? If you've bought the product and you haven't used it yet, you're a chicken. So get to work. Show us what you can do. Don't be afraid. What do we say? You say, you got this. Okay, it's not going to do anything sitting in those bottles. Do something with it. All right. Black vein coming at you. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> what did he do? He ruined it. He ruined it. Here we go. He's about to pour. He's going to go white right in the middle of the black. He's going to salvage his mistake. He's going to keep his hand moving in an organic fashion right there. Check that out. Oh, keep it in the center. Oh, you went off. It's not perfect anymore. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yes. Yes. Now, it looks a little bit childish. Say paint. Finger. I say paint stick. Paint stick. Paint stick. Oh. Let me grab a, a tongue depressor. Here we go. Ready? Oh, yeah. How do you like me now? Ow. Luke said this was one of his favorite pieces. Did I just ruin it, Luke? Mm, nope, I have faith. You got faith it'll it'll turn out okay? Yeah. You, you've seen one of my videos before? I've seen one plus a couple. Luke and I have been through a lot together. You've been working with me for quite some time. We've done hundreds of videos together. Mm -hmm. Luke and I are like hand in a glove, man. We, we know where the other one's going. Anybody else have relationships at work like that where you just, you're on the same page all the time? That's Luke and I. Appreciate his, his fortitude in these long, crazy days. We get, we get creating epoxy projects and we don't stop, do we? Can't stop, won't stop. Okay, I'm gonna torch that out, move it a little bit. Yeah, you, I think I think the underside is just so much down here. It's tearing the whole camera off. Got it. I went a little heavy. I got a little bit ambitious on my pour. It's okay. It's still keeping most of it. All right, Mitch is doing tape dam repairs. Tape dam repairs. And worst case scenario, if it flows off, it flows off, you know? All right, let's torch out that vein, Luke. Oh yeah, brother. I like that. I like that. That's pretty that's pretty wild, man. I like the grain flow in these. How long does it keep moving? Uh it's gonna move for a few hours. And you know, the dam keeps it kind of in place. You want me to lift it up for you, Mitch? No, I'm not leaking out the bottom. It's just kind of a, a trough now, you know. Yeah. So I think I'll just kind of tighten it. What do you guys think of this? Oh, man. That's because, you know, it gets all these reactions because we've done different additives. We do metallic powders, we do dyes, and we do spray paint. And those additives mixed together create these natural effects. This looks like a very high-end stone there. And that's because of all those additives. And you look at where we poured that black. See the edges, how they're starting to intermix? 
um, that's, a, that's a natural thing that occurs in Mother Nature too. So you get this gradient that goes from light to dark and I think that, that gives us a really fantastic look. I might take that and just kind of integrate my edges a little bit with that uh, paint stick too. Let me go find, where did I put that paint stick? Right there. Let's play with this a little bit. Just kind of where those meet. I agree. So it's just kind of kind of gives it a little bit more reason why we did that. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to look good. See that? See how see how it grabs that color around it and we're just integrating the two. Can you put epoxy on a tub or in a tub? I'm about to do a bathtub made out of cedar wood, and I'm gonna teach you every step of the way to make it possible to make a bathtub with epoxy. Uh, I've got cedar four by fours. You wanna see them? Yep. Check this out. See that pile of cedar? That's gonna become a bathtub. You're looking at a bathtub. See this right here? This is gonna become a game table for my children. It's a giant walnut table. Uh, let's see, what else can we show them? See this geode shelf? This is gonna be a bathtub shelf right there. Have you guys seen this video? Part out. two, coming soon. Part two coming soon. See this right here? See this mold box? We just poured this. This is a shampoo shelf insert, and I'm gonna show you how we created this so that you can make, I'm gonna cut out the foam. This will go between studs. It'll be a shampoo shelf one piece. It'll look like it's all tile and stone trim. It'll match my shower, and this is gonna upload. You could do this in sheetrock or showers or anywhere in the house that you want this. I'll even teach you how to embed an LED light coming out of the top down onto a statue or figurine you got in there. It's a waterproof solution for a shelf in any wall. I'm going to show you how to build that yourself. Um, golly, what other videos we got? We got a, a, a balcony coming up where we're going to do an outdoor balcony using our platinum product. We got um, vertical trees we're going to do as uh, post supports for an awning that we've refinished using um, DIY techniques. Uh, we're doing... Uh, we're repurposing standing dead trees into interior log home design. Um, golly, showers, this is the first of four showers that we're doing. So if you're a contractor, there is a lot of money in refinishing or rebuilding showers. Shower walls that have 1980s four by four tiles on them where all the grout looks disgusting. This, this is a quick replacement of that. Um, the materials are about 600 bucks to do that. And you could charge five or six grand to replace showers. It's a business in and of itself. Just about every video, we have master classes on river tables. We're doing a river table that will blow your mind. One of the biggest river tables ever made, we're about to drop. Um, I'm, I built a, a river table for my wife's birthday made out of 500,000 cubic zirconium diamonds. Not real diamonds, but it's the Diamond River table, and it's for her birthday. Don't tell her. Um, let's see. We got uh, mantle coming out, a fireplace coming out, stack stone, backsplash. I, I can't even, I don't even remember all the videos that are coming out because we've been filming nonstop for weeks. So uh, if you want me to go live again, let me know in the comments what you want to see live. Um, we'll go live again. Maybe we'll even take you. Do you want to see a tour of the project that all these are going in? Is that what you want to see next? We could go live there. We just got our Wi-Fi set up there and it's fast. So we could go live from that project. Um, a big shout out to everybody who's tuned into this. Let's do a Q&A session. What questions can I answer? Um, can you, a lot of people are asking over an existing tub, so fiberglass or something like that. I don't do that, no. If you wanna refinish a tub, uh, check out Miracle Method, check out porcelain enamel coatings and those kind of things that go over that kind of 
process. It's, it's about adhesion and they have special primers, but I'm gonna warn you, it's not a DIY friendly process. That stuff is extremely toxic to work with. If you use the non-toxic stuff from the big box store, uh, you're, you're, you're kind of subpar. Uh, I've used it before. It's, it's not great. Um, if you want to put epoxy over a bathtub, this ain't your channel for that. If someone's going to sell you epoxy to go over your bathtub, um, come back to us. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I was going to ask, a uh, customer asked, why do you turn off the AC? I turn off the AC to stop the air movement. I don't want that thing blowing the, the dust. Like if you look at my uh, filters. We change those filters all the time because there's so much dust in the air in here. And the reason we're pouring in here as opposed to our set is because um, these are huge and we needed the flat table space. Uh, have you seen what we create? Come on, let me show you. Let me show you this. And any other questions while, while we walk over there? Oh, look at this. This is coming out. This is our epoxy challenge. Okay, this is number one, number two, number three, number four. This was made by four different individuals. This is Mitch, this is Luke, this is Joe, and that's Matt. And we did this live to show with some excess scrap epoxy what you could create. That was the same recipe, just done in different ways. So we'll show you that video probably really soon. Uh, Zach, our, my buddy's editing that right now for you. We need your vote. Look at this, look at that. Uh, come look at some of these pieces. How many square feet does a, a gallon of epoxy cover? Um, about, about 40 square feet. Okay. Look at that. There's a river table back there. Okay. We're going to go fast, Luke. We got river table. We got blue pearl. We got Carrera marble. We got a different style of uh, agate pearl. We got travertine okay we got quartz we got black uh galaxy we got a exotic marble okay we got a rustic stone orange stone we got sediment style black and white we got a really really cool cellular look on this blue and black and white i think this is blue and black melded marble we got some pink tones in a marble this looks like a carrera with those accents of pink we got labradorite right here. We got sediment style. This I made with artists till death. This is a jade. We mimic jade from a museum in New York City. This is a very classic white marble, one of our most popular. This is uba tuba. This is green and gold. This is soapstone. This is fractured marble. This is a green exotic. It's called rainforest green. We got black and white. I did this with Paul's toolbox. That's melted marble. That's sediment style. I did that with C. Jane drill. We've done a copper piece right here. This is copper. This is Baltic brown granite. This is one, two, three, four different versions of our spray on granite out of a can with different undertones, same recipe. The colors are infinite. If you want a blue, a blue ocean pour, we do that. We got, uh, look, look at this. This is for a man cave, all right? Who, who likes the chiefs? That's what that's for. Guys, the possibilities are endless. Stone Coat Countertops is a company that was built by me, my wife, my family, and some close friends who became um, employees for, for uh, a, a cause of building this business. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching this. Let's give away some more epoxy. Uh, tell me the next comment right now. Who is it? Uh, Gail. No, next one that pops up. I'm a new, new subscriber, and I just received my Stone Coat R coat. Excited to get started. Next one. Hi. Hi. Love no. Lo loving, living the dream. Love you guys. You rock. Oh, they're coming in really fast, Mike. Okay, that one. Who, who says living the dream, you rock? Who said that? Uh, those are separate ones. Okay, keep going then. Keep going. Hi, Mike. Uh, uh, can we want to do my shower? Uh, we do Culture Marvel in my glass company. Uh, that guy right there. We do culture marble at my glass company for shower wall, for shower walls. How Where's your I... glass company? Where's his glass company? Let me ask. Where's your glass company? Who is it? What's his name? Aaron McChinger. Aaron, where's your glass company at? Maybe I got an idea for you. How would I go about making epoxy walls as such? Would I cover the marble with epoxy or would I build a mold and pour? Oh man, watch this video. We just taught you how to do shower walls. 
Uh, culture marble guys love this process because there's a lot of sim similarities in the prep and stuff like that. But uh, you can get much more realistic looks than just cultured marble. Uh, I, I'm very familiar with that process. Um, I like cultured marble, but it's a little bit outdated. Uh, this will give you a little bit more update to your artistic finishes. You okay, Mitch? Do you need help? Nope. Handling. You're doing good, man. Look at these panels. Look at, look at how this has evolved. I love it. I love that white vein that we put in. Check that out. Okay, give me another comment. We got to give away some epoxy. Getting ready to do our counters, thinking about doing our basement floors. Okay. That didn't excite me, but I'm happy you're thinking about that. Let's keep going. Who's next? Stone coat for life. Who said Stone that? Epoxy add insulation. Who said stone coat for life? David Myers. David Myers. Mitch at what? StoneCoatCountertops.com. Mitch dot. Mitch at StoneCoatCountertops.com. David Myers. Mitch at StoneCoatCountertops.com. You just got yourself five one-gallon kits. Oh. Okay, five gallons of epoxy worth 500 bucks, and you're going to get a miscellaneous amount of different additives. But with that comes some responsibility. We need pictures and a testimonial. Why Stone Coat for life? Hashtag.com. Who is it? David Meyer? David Meyer. Guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. Appreciate you guys. We've had a lot of fun. Uh, I'm Mike Quist. This is Mitch. Luke's behind the camera. All of us from Stone Coat Countertops. You got this. We'll see you on the next video. Stone Coat for life. Possibly in a couple days.